Hello and welcome to our Hopper HQ introductory webinar. I'm Isabel and I'm so glad you could join me today. Um, hopefully now you can all see my Hopper HQ and I'm just going to walk you through the features, the benefits, the pros of having a scheduling tool like Hopper HQ under your belt. Amazing. If you have any questions throughout, just pop them in the chat or pop them in the Q&A and I'll get to them throughout. Awesome. So hopefully by now you all know we have a 14 day free trial and this allows you to ensure that Hop HQ is the right scheduling tool for you. We know everyone has their own social media scheduling needs and it's important to find the right tool that fits yours. So with Hop HQ, we are best known for our visual first ease of use. And so small businesses love us and people with new accounts absolutely love us. So what are we looking at now? For those of you who haven't yet started a Hop, a Hop HQ account, this is Hop HQ. And we are looking at our Hopper HQ team to explain everyone has an email account which logs into their Hopper HQ account. And that account can be part of teams. So if you do manage multiple, say for example, client teams, you can separate your subscriptions and your Hopper HQ into teams. You can see here, I'm part of a few teams myself, but we're going to be focusing on the Hop HQ team for now. But it's a great feature to be able to separate the subscriptions, separate the accounts, if you need that headspace between them. Awesome. Once you're in your desired team or account, you'll have your social media accounts connected on the left-hand side. We cater for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, and TikTok. And we auto post to all of those, including Instagram stories and Instagram reels. Fantastic. So we are in the Hop HQ planner page, looking at our scheduled queue. So our scheduled queue are the accounts in which the, sorry, the posts in which we are 100% happy with, and they are gonna be published at the scheduled date and time. And so I can see here, this post is the first one upcoming. I need to check into it, I can click into it and view the post, make any edits I want, don't forget to press save, and see everything to do with that, that post. Furthermore, we can drag and we can drop. So if we decide that post we don't want to go out first, we're going to change it and pop it there, we can do that. Fantastic. And then we have our drafted um, space in HP drafts or posts which aren't yet perfect, and a place where you can kind of have a bit of a play, kind of a brainstorming playground before the posts are perfect in Hopper HQ. So drafts are distinguishable via this toggle here. You can toggle your post to draft, scheduled, or request approval, which we will get to in just one second. But even if the scheduled time and date comes about, these will not be published, and they are safe in your drafts. Now, approvals. Approvals are a place where if you work within a team, you can set a post for approval. And those with approving permissions will be able to view these and approve, or it might be the case that they don't approve the post. So I can see here that I set this post for approval. I can click into the post, view everything that I did. And if I'm happy with my work, I can press approve and it will move into the schedule queue if I'm not happy, I can reject it and it will move back to our drafted queue. If we are working in a team, I can drop some notes here to explain, congratulate, or maybe not, as it may be. Awesome. Then on the right hand side, we have our grid planner. Grid is a fantastic way to ensure your Instagram and TikToks are looking exactly how you want them. Obviously, the visual um, aestheticness of Instagram is, is quite important. It's often seen as a shop window in a website, so you want to make sure it's looking good. With the published posts, we can't do anything with those. If you want to edit, delete, change, head to the platform itself to update those. But likewise, I said, you can click into a post, view it, edit it, see it, as well as drag and drop any posts we want to rearrange the order and curate our grid. Hope that will make sense. Do reach out if there are any questions. So we'll just go and create a post now. 
you have the option to create posts, reels and stories. And the reason we separate them is because they are different sizes and we want to make sure your content is optimized for uh, the purpose you're posting for. We also have this bulk create option or bulk upload option, which allows you to upload up to 50 items at a time so you can work in bulk and schedule your, to your heart's desire. Upload sources, you can upload media from your device, Link, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and Unsplash. For those new schedulers amongst us who maybe don't have any graphic designers or a team behind us, solo entrepreneurs, Unsplash is gonna be your best friend. You can search for anything in this and it will pull freely available high quality stock photography webs, uh, photographs and images. If you don't know at unsplash.com, check it out, it's amazing. But you can select what you want and upload it directly into Hopper HQ. Whilst that loads, we'll focus on when this post goes out. So this post is currently scheduled to 2030, but you can schedule as far as you like in the future with Hop HQ, that's the beauty of it. But you have full granularity of choice on kind of when and how you publish. We also have the same granularity with the time. And I really recommend going for kind of these odd looking times like 10, 17 or um, 9, 13, 9, 49. Um, because lots of people use scheduling tools and not many people are imaginative. So they um, tend to go for the rounder numbers like half past eight in the morning or half past five in the afternoon. So the Instagram and other platform feeds are flooded at that time. And it's more likely you'll get that hit of engagement if you're posting at a more organic time, as you call it. Then we also have your post schedule time in which you are able to create a schedule for each account in our page key. So after you've looked at your analytics, your best time to post, understand your audience, and like kind of know exactly when you are to be publishing, you can create a content and schedule in your Hop HQ settings for each account. And then you can press this button and it will fall into the next available slot in that queue, which is pretty cool. And then we have our post now feature, which is if you need to get a post out immediately, say you've had to close the store for some reason, or um, you've got a flash sale on today. I don't know what it could be, but if you want to um, announce something to your followers immediately, that's what you will do. Awesome. And then we have uh, the ability to flip between post reels and stories in case you um, want to change that up. And now back to the media. So once the, once the media is up here, we have a few options. We can create a carousel post, which are the gallery posts on Instagram, which you like to swipe across on to see more content and stack the images of videos there. You can tag people, um, tag whoever you want. Great for like that uh, boost of engagement. Hopefully they'll share it with their followers. You really want that good for growth. Crop if the image isn't quite right. The image editor, especially if you're using unsplash images, it might be quite nice to like make them your own. You can use our image editor, which is amazing. Um, I think one of our most understated features and you can kind of um, have that fun there as well as delete the image or video if you so choose. Next, we're on to the captions. So we have these amazing AI tools, um, which are still in beta. So do let us know if you have any feedback or um, improvements. We love to hear them. Um, but we have this text transform, which if you have a general idea of what you want your caption to be, you can write it down in very bad English and use this this not necessarily English, I'm assuming we're all English, but then we might not be in your language. And um, you can use this button to transform the text into a perfect caption for you. As well, my favorite, this generate caption one. So it's gonna pull, use the image I've uploaded and create me a caption. And I'm gonna go for a humorous tone caption. And hopefully it won't take too long, but it'll generate me some options for an amazing caption. Let's see what I I love it. Makes it so easy. Let's go for that one. And there you go. We also have this saved feature whereby you can have recurring content in here. So you can add a new saved feature, whatever it may be, have your saved content and save it and you'll be able to insert it into your captions. So we have a recurring Monday post, we have a few hashtags here, like whatever you want, which might be and recurring, you can do that. And note, just a note on that, recurring captions, 
hashtags tags are the biggest trigger of spam uh, features sorry spam filters on the platforms themselves especially twitter and instagram they're the most sensitive so if you do post the exact same thing again and again we your account will likely be flagged and we really don't want that for any of our customers awesome we have our hashtags in which you can search for hashtags type in any hashtags you want it will pull up that hashtag the reach of that hashtag and you can kind of add that so that's our search feature and then we have this um my hashtags which are ones you've looked into our big hashtag database i really recommend you have a look and have a play and once you've had a look you can create hashtag groups in which we'll live here and you can insert them quite nicely into your caption um let's go to this one and they have a nice um formatting about them which we love we have a first comment feature which is an Instagram only, allowing you to be the first to comment on your posts, which is quite fun. If you did want to put your hashtags down there, for example, you can do that. And then location. We always recommend popping a location on your customers, your audience want to know where you are, be it to visit, opening hours, time zone, whatever it is, it's good to know. And then our most popular feature, I'd say with Hop HQ, is that you can publish the singular post to every single account you have connected. So you'll see here, these are all the accounts and here you'll see them as well. Obviously different platforms have their own um, like limitations. So we can't post this to Twitter, for example, because it's too long um, or to TikTok because it's too long. And then we need to kind of like play around with it and make it perfect. But if you did want to kind of have that, have the same thing, you can create a copy of the post and make platform specific edits, which is quite cool. Awesome. Do let me know if you have any questions at all, but I'll just leave that there and you guys can have a play after the call. Fantastic. Let's jump into the calendar now, which if you are visual and like to see like what's upcoming, you're going to love it. So in the calendar, we have an overview of the of the content we've got coming up so you can view all of your accounts if you so wish or just one or just two in in your content calendar you can filter these towards important views so if you have a load of drafts and you don't want to view them you can toggle them off um, if you just want to view stories you can view that as well which is quite fun but here you can click into any post see what's going on make any edits as well, you can drag and drop if you decide I actually want that one there, for example, you can do that. As well, you can click into any empty space and create a post. So this is just a portrait version of what we were looking at landscape in the previous um, page. But here you can kind of have that fun, there, which is cool. Awesome. Do let me know if you have any questions. Um, and then let's jump into our analytics platform. So analytics obviously are great to keep an eye on. We want to see kind of what's going on and kind of how our accounts are growing, how we can improve, what can we do, be doing more of, and we can help you out there um, with our analytics. So here our analytics are broken down into these four categories. Focusing on post analytics, you can see a breakdown of each and every post broken down into engagement, percentage, likes, comments, saves, reach, as well as impressions. You can order this data by what's important for you. If you're trying to um, go for virality, you might look at reach. If you're trying to create chatter and referrals, you might go for comments, like all of those kind of things. Next, best time to post, one of my favorite ones. Um, give it a second to load. Here you can see um, a heat map of when your followers are online. So the darker the blue, the more followers are online and the lighter the blue, the less. So obviously we want to be targeting um, when the majority of our following are online to get that initial hit of engagement and hopefully create that kind of continuation of the growth on the engagement metrics. And then we have further kind of demographics we can see here, which are important for some accounts internationally, less important for others, but they're there if you need them. And then we have this overview um, account analytics tab so you can kind of see these big metrics and this is cool so you can see kind of how you've grown on some days and not in others and what you did those days um, you can view new followers impressions reach and all of those which is cool oh, 
what happened on the 11th of January. <laughs> um, but here you can kind of like have that fun there and see kind of what's what's going on and why, which is cool. And then hashtag analytics. So this was kind of a version one of our big hashtag database. Um, but here you can see your top hashtags basically for your accounts. Takes into account any hashtags you've popped in your captions since publishing with Hop HQ, and you can see which are the best ones for you. So ours is social media tips. And so we want to be using that all the time because that's our best hashtag. Fantastic. And now um, I'm going to jump into our settings just to show you a few things I've mentioned throughout the call. So in your time settings, you are able to create a schedule. So I'd really recommend looking at your best time to post, your analytics, understanding your audience and when they're likely to be online. And you can create a schedule for your accounts here. Um, and then your posts will automatically fall into this unless you select otherwise. Cool. Teams I mentioned right at the beginning, but if you were to convert your account into a team, you have the ability to add team members. So send them an email, sorry we'll send them an email once you've popped their email address in with an invite link so they can create their own hopper hq account absolutely free to access what you give them access to and we have these general permissions which you can see here as well we have it on a more granular account level so i might decide here that mike i don't want him to access my instagram or my pinterest but he can draft on my other instagram account for example so you can control your uh, team members permission. If you want uh, them to be able to look at post approvals, they need to be full publish or admin. Awesome. Okay. And then we do have our hashtag database, but I'd really recommend you guys have a play with that. And if you have any questions, reach out to me or one of the team and we'll be happy um, to discuss, help us answer any questions you have there. Um, and on that note, we have me and the team available whenever you need them. We can jump on a call if it's an onboarding, another demo. If you have further questions, we can jump on a call. Always happy to chat. Or you can reach out um, and use our uh, help center, fully built out, should answer every question you have. But I know that's not always the best way to learn. Um, and you can also send us a message, which is super helpful. So. Yeah, that's kind of the end of the demo. I really appreciate you giving me 20 minutes of your time. If you do have any questions, pop them in the chat and I'll be more than happy to answer them. If not, thank you so much for your time and I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time today.